What's up everybody, NC Moto again. Pretty simple one today. If you're like me and you bought the radiator grill off of Amazon, you notice it came with zero instructions at all. But not to worry, pretty straightforward install. You're only gonna need three tools. You'll need a two and a half, number four, and number five Allen key. Uh, we're gonna start here on the left-hand side of the bike. All you'll need to do is remove this bolt here, which is a number five, and this one up here on the top of the trim, which is the number four. Once you remove both of those, the panel will pop right off. Okay, so on the right side, the only difference is you're going to have to remove this accent panel here with the two, two and a half Allen keys to access the number five, which is actually beneath it. Okay, so in the kit, they included some foam tape. Uh, it's not totally necessary that we use it, but we're gonna go ahead and put a piece right here on the tank ends. I'm, I'm sorry, the light's not great right now. So you probably can't see this too well. Just line it up, stick a piece on each side that's going to help with any kind of vibrations that might be caused by wind hitting the grill and give it a little bit tighter fit. All right, so once you got the foam on and no, it's not going to stick that well, just need to stick long enough to get everything in place. There are tabs on the top of the grill. There's actually a ledge on the top of the radiator right here that those will sit on. The only thing actually holding this thing on are these two tabs, one on each side. That number five Allen is going to run through that. Just stick the, stick the panel right on top. Okay, so the right hand side's not much different other than we had to remove that, uh, the metal panel from this piece of trim to access the number five Allen key, or Allen headed bolt rather. It's um, pretty much a repeat of the other side. Just snap the panel back in place. There's a push rivet right there. Line everything up, which can be a little fiddly, but not too bad. Push. The Allen bolt in and run it up. And then it's just a simple process of so putting your bolts back in, putting the trim piece back on, and that's it. The install's over. Like I said, this is gonna be a pretty pretty easy one. Doesn't take very long. Even with filming, this took me less than 10 minutes. So what you end up with though. Um, it's something that looks much better. Light is horrible, I apologize. But this is gonna protect the radiator and clean up the looks a little bit. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, comment down below. Thanks for watching.